So Bostrom simulation hypothesis. Um, basically, if it's possible um, to make a simulation of a universe or mind, then it already probably happened and we are probably one of them. Um, well, I would tend to agree and I would tend to think that this, that this experience that we're having is a kind of simulation. Um, that also um, really works with um, my Buddhist uh, views as well, where you know, from a Buddhist perspective, uh, the reality that we're experiencing is a simulation. It's a simulation that's not unlike a dream. So the question is, what is it? What's the substrate? What's the ultimate substrate that all simulations happen in? Uh, it would be a sort of fallacy to say that there, there wasn't one. Uh, there, there's got to be some substrate that, that is not a simulation in order for simulations to happen. If there's no such substrate, there can't be simulations. So what I'm curious about is not the, what simulation or what level we're in, um, but really what's the ultimate substrate that all simulations take place within. Now that to me is consciousness. I think that the ultimate substrate is a kind of consciousness or primordial awareness. Um, and within that, we get simulations that then dream or create further simulations. So from a Buddhist perspective, um, there's this primordial substrate which is very hard to express. It's basically inexpressible. Um, and from that we got essentially minds um, which then project worlds in which we then can create systems which then can be simulations of minds and worlds. And so it can go on and on and on um, infinitely like that. Uh, but the bottom line is it's still all happening within uh, an actual substrate which is not a material thing. It's, it couldn't be because if it was, it would be inside the simulation. It's not material. It has to be outside and pri primal or before anything that you can simulate. But if there is a simulation, then there must be a substrate 